Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, continuing on the PC Tips and Tricks series, uh, I'm going to show you how you can connect multiple audio devices to your Windows computer. Now, uh, this trick is especially going to be useful if you're someone who uses a pair of headphones and maybe you want to watch a movie or something with your friend and you don't, and you still want to use your headphones. Now, uh, you can also connect multiple speakers to, the, to your laptop to get that stereo pair, or you can use it in a bunch of ways. But, but I'm going to show you how you can exactly set this up on your laptop, on your PC with Windows 10 or 11. So uh, now this feature unfortunately doesn't come built in with Windows, but uh, with this trick you can actually connect any pair of earphones. You don't need a pair of earphones which support multi-device connectivity as well. So let's get started. Firstly, go to Google and search for Virtual Audio Kit. This uh, is the first website. Here uh, you can see exactly how this uh, application is going to work, but we don't need that. You just go to download and hit download VAC Lite. The, the Lite version is a free version, so we're going to use that. Just go ahead and download it, and it's going to be downloaded. Now just extract it. All right, so uh, once you extract uh, the downloaded folder, it's going to look something like this. All right, so now scroll down and find this thing, Setup64. Click on that and it will install the application that is required. All right, so you can see, just click accept and you can install it. All right, so I already have it installed on my computer, but I'm still going to install it again. <coughs> All right, just a second. Meanwhile, uh, just go ahead and find this folder x64 click open that within and copy this app here audio repeater just copy it and keep it on your home screen for easy access all right just have it there and see if this is installed okay so uh, we've installed the app that I was mentioning here before now this window will automatically pull up if it doesn't come up just go to control panel and click on hardware and sound and then go to sound and just uh, sorry just go to sound okay so this window is going to come up now in the playback section uh, select the line one this is the app that we've installed so just click on that and in the recordings as well select line one now make sure both of these are selected as default device and click on OK all right so now you just need to go back and you can see this is the app that I've previously copied from the folder so just go ahead and right click on it and run it as administrator okay so this is one window now you need to open this app once again just a second so these two these are the two windows uh, of the app now in this uh, section all you need to do is select wave in and map it to line one Select, do this on both of the windows and in the wave out section here you need to select uh, the two devices that you actually wanted to connect All right so I'm just going to connect my two earphones to the computer All right one is done so you can see I've connected two uh, earphones now, uh, by default, if both, even if both of these devices are connected, only one of them is going to give you an audio playback. But with this app, now that you have selected line one, now select wave out and select, now I just need to restart it, just a second. Make sure you have connected your devices before you actually run these apps so that the app will recognize the connected devices. So just select uh, line one, line one there, in the wave out section select one of the earphones on here and the other one over here so I've selected two of these and click on start now you can minimize these uh, windows and you can enjoy watching something on, to, on both of these earphones you can see you can easily play uh, audio from both of these devices I'm just hearing uh, audio from both of these devices right now now <coughs> sometimes even if you set it up correctly 
you might not hear both of the devices playing the audio. So uh, in that case, just go to your settings and change the line to line one. You can see in my case, it's uh, by default selected to the one, one of the earphones. So only one of them is playing the audio right now. But if I select line one and I play it now, I can hear the audio from both of the devices. So make sure you're subscribing uh, to the channel for more tips and tricks like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.